what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Another Karen. Fam, this one is at a Costco. Elderly lady. She walks in, tries to buy something, and a manager stops her hey, like, hey, need you to put on a mask. Simple request. I need you to put on a mask. I don't want to. I need you to do it just for the time being while you're shopping. That's it. I don't want to. I'm an American. I have constitutional rights. Then she proceeds to plop down on the floor like a three-year-old and have a tantrum. She has a three-year-old tantrum. In the middle of the floor at Costco, fam, where they get them from? What's wrong with arresting the asses? They need to go to jail. Taze it. Something. Why is it that they feel like the rules don't apply to them? Costco is a private company. Their own private property, in fact, is a membership-only company. So they have the right to refuse service for any reason. Sounds familiar? Then there's another guy who refused to wear a mask at Costco and the employee took his whole shopping cart because he did not want to put on a mask. Last time I checked, it was a free contract. That's what he said. It was a free country. Last time I checked, it was a free country. What's weird is that the lady that was with him, I ain't gonna, well, eh, maybe lady is a stretch, but the woman that was with him had a mask on. But he's walking around with no mask. Now, let me tell y'all something. All you people out there that don't want to wear a mask in public, perhaps. You have a constitutional right not to wear a mask. But us civilized amongst you also have a constitutional right to be healthy. To not end up with a damn debilitating disease or illness trying to accommodate your spoiled, entitled ass. I'm sick of y'all. All of y'all. Man. Where's the police? Why didn't the manager call the police? See, that's another thing. See, I can guarantee you if they were black, those managers would be calling the police. They didn't call the, they haven't been calling the police on none of these white folks. All of these managers and store clerks and stuff, oh yeah, they'll try to hold them off and all that stuff, but they will not call the police. They see a black person coming. Uh 911, a uh, black person coming up here. I think they're finna do something. I think they're not gonna wear a mask. I, I think they're gonna look at me crazy. I think they're gonna ask for a refund. Uh 911. Uh 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 911, it's a black person. Uh come get them. So really, I don't feel nothing for the antagonist or the antagonized. I feel nothing for none of them because they're all complicit in this little game called white privilege. All of them are complicit. They got a double standard when it comes to 
applying the rules, enforcing the rules. I've seen encounters where you have these Karens or Kens accosting black people and, you know, at, in public places, uh, especially like restaurants, grocery stores, and the employees will just be sitting back watching the action when the white person is aggressive. But as the moment the black person becomes aggressive, they all want to jump in and gang in and say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But it's almost like they want to see what's going to happen when the black, when the white person is the aggressor. They're like sitting back. They're not trying to break it up. Save for the one time with the, the, the two black lawyers recently, whole neighborhood ganged up against the white woman who, who came and approached them, went on their property three times within 30 minutes, demanding to see a damn permit for a patio that they was building in their own backyard. She went onto their property. This is, this is, the, this is the embodiment of self-entitlement. It, this is this is crazy, fam. But this has been going on for a long time. It, it hasn't just started. It's been happening for a long, long, long time. And it's now just being exposed with the advent of the cell phone camera. It's all coming to light. And it's bad. I said it once and I'll say it again. I don't want to hear shit about no angry black woman. An angry black woman ain't got nothing on these domestic terrorists. These so-called Karens and Kens, they are domestic terrorists. This is what a domestic terrorist does. He terrorizes the community that he's in or she's in. They go around and they terrorize the people in their country. You can't tell me this isn't terrorism. This is all they do. Their asses need to be arrested, thrown in jail. There's some other things that could happen to them, but I'm not privy to say that. I cannot say that, but I'm sure you can read between the lines. That's the only thing gonna stop them. You can't reason with them. They're indoctrinated. They think they're special and they think you're not. In fact, they think you're nothing and they're jealous of you. If you're happy, they're sad. If you're sad, oh, they're happy. If you get a job promotion, a new car, a new house, they start looking around at what they have and they start feeling bad about themselves because they feel like you're either catching up or passing them up. This is what it comes down to, fam. These people who act like this, they're the same ones who would love to bring slavery back. This is why y'all got to be diligent. You got to make sure you strap up, protect yourself, protect your family. I can't stress it enough. I saw a beautiful video the other day of an armed militia. Well, I don't know if they're militia, militia but whole bunch of armed brothers that showed up at Stone Mountain on the 4th of July to make a statement to Donald Trump and his hitmen, his hitmen, his henchmen, the police, the KKK, the white supremacists, the neo-Nazis, all of them, they're in the same game. I'm not making this up. This has already been reported. This was reported by the FBI that they had infiltrated the police departments and the FBI. 
This is all documented what I'm saying. I'm not making this up. They're all on the same team. This is why it's so hard to hold them responsible. I don't know what her name is, but whoever you are, I know you've had a long run being self-entitled, getting your way, pushing people around, acting a damn fool all your life. This clown sat in the middle of the floor at Costco and had a temper tantrum. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?